know that donating blood can help hospitals and patients, and of course it can save lives. And if you've never donated blood before, we're giving you a closer look, kind of lifting the curtain, showing you what happens behind the scenes. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Twilan Nugent live for us in downtown Buffalo with the folks from Units this morning. Twilan, what are you seeing? Good morning, Ed and Katie. Now we're here at Units, where a lot of people actually are scared to donate blood, but we have Amanda here who can talk to us a little bit about what I mean, if people are scared, what do you kind of tell them to quell the fears that they may have? Yeah, so the entire process of blood donation takes less than an hour of your time, and I think it's most important to realize that while you may be a little afraid or a little nervous, that decision to get in the chair to spend less than an hour with us is saving a life right here in western New York. And so I think a lot of people here are scared, too. When they come to the place, they say, hey, it might not be safe, it might not be clean, but what do you say to that? So, you know, when folks come to donate, we ask that they bring photo ID. You come and you fill out a little health history questionnaire, sit with one of our screeners, we make sure you are feeling well and healthy that day, and then you come and sit in one of our nice comfy donation chairs where we actually have the blood donation process, which really takes less than 15 minutes for the actual donation. And this here, what is this kit that you're holding? These are our blood bags. So this is, um, when folks donate, this is our um, where we actually collect the, the blood that is then sent up to our lab and then eventually out to the hospitals. And so everything is packaged, everything is sterile. It's not opened until you get here. So there's really nothing to fear at exactly, this point. If exactly. you're just scared of a little needle, that's all you're going to have to get over. But one unit of blood saves how many lives? It can save up to three lives. So, you know, again, if folks are a little nervous, just think about that person who is in that hospital waiting for you to make that decision to get in the chair. Perfect. Thank you so much, guys. And if you guys are interested or you have any questions, the unit's location downtown is open for you today. We'll have details on our website at WKBW.com. I'm Tweelon Nugent, 7 Eyewitness News.